Welcome back to Talk of the Town. To get in shape, you really don't have to join a fitness center or buy expensive exercise equipment. Personal trainer Jarrell Webb is here now to help you put together your own affordable in-home gym. No more excuses, right? No more excuses. So you don't need a big budget. All you need is maybe four to five pieces to get a good workout okay. in. Okay. All right? First piece is, remember, is um, wherever you go, you're there. So body weight is first. Okay. You can do everything, calisthenics, jumping jacks, air squats all that great stuff like that. Okay. Um, $10 bands. So we're going we're gonna to put you to work today. Okay. Good. So we're going to step on that. We're going to turn that into curls for the girls, right? Curls. All, curls for, for the, the girls. girls. All right. All those beach muscles straight up and down. Okay. So something really that simple. With a resistance band, you're getting the resistance on both ends at the top yeah. through the exercise and as you come down. So if you want to, you can hold that one right there. Okay. And then you'll start to curl that one. So you got an ISO hold there. Yeah. And then you'll just switch after your rep. Okay. Right? Yeah, I like that. Next thing we're going to roll with is our dumbbells. Okay. So, just a couple of those. These are tens. Always remember with dumbbells, size does matter, right? So, always go with something that challenges you throughout the whole exercise. Okay. If you work through it 12 to 15 reps, those last three to four reps should be what we call struggle reps. So you're just starting right? out. Should you start with threes or fives? Absolutely not. No? <laughs> okay. At least eight to tens, right? Okay. Because you want to be able to to challenge yourself. Okay. You got to challenge the most in, in order for it to grow, like Good everything else in life, right? Good to know. All right, stability balls, right? So st stability balls make everything simple, a little more harder. It's just um, sitting down, and if you sit up as straight as you can, that's going to engage your core right there because now you have to stabilize yourself. Back yeah. to those curls, right? Yeah. So preach your curls. Um, and you can do pretty much everything on stability ball, from abs to upper body to push-ups. If you want to stand up for a sec. So this will work your core as well. That'll work your core. And then okay. you can also pick it up and do your overhead things um, oh, with that. Yeah. All that, big squats here, everything um, from abs, just twisting side yeah. to side, adding that um, extra weight. So stability balls are always a staple in an in-home gym just because um, you, they have so many different options with it, right? So how do we figure out what we're going to do with all this equipment um, if we don't have a personal If you trainer don't have like a you? personal trainer, um, you have internet access. Okay. Um, you can visit my website, www.itrain365.com. Okay. Visit me on um, any social media at itrain365. Um, and Google. Google is your best friend. So um, YouTube videos, all those things are going to come into play when you're looking at that. But you don't need a whole lot, don't need a big budget. Like I said, if you have a body, then you have a gym. All right. And we're doing, if we're doing strength training, it's every other day, not every day, right? If well, we're working if the whole body. If you're doing total body, yeah. yes. You want to yeah. do about three, three total body days a week. Okay. Um, and then a couple off days or cardio days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. We got you all set. And it didn't cost a lot. Didn't cost a lot at all. Uh, Maybe 50 bucks right here. All right. All right? Thank you, Jarrell. <laughs> Good welcome. ideas. I'm losing my mic pack back here. All right. Well, if you have questions on any topic that you'd like Jarrell to address, you can find his contact information at newschannel5.com.